Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick video on uh, general maintenance in the Philippines is basically done by hand. Everything is done by hand. And not very many people use power tools or weed whackers. <clears throat> and in this case, today, I was walking down the road and a lady named, <clears throat> named Alona, she was in fact clearing out this little area here with this machete a lady with a machete because in the Philippines even when they dig a hole they do it with a number nine bar or a hammer and chisel which is even um, I've seen that also I've actually right. have a nice day have a nice man time Oh, this is the lovely Alona, Guapa Alona, and her machete. Look at this. Oh, my God. And this is how we take the dirt off the bottom of the weeds in the Philippines. Be very careful. Like, I have to tell her she was probably born with a machete, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. These, all the ladies in the Philippines carry machetes, by the way. You'll see two or three women walking along the beach, and all of the ladies will have a machete. Because in case they want to have lunch, they take their trusty machete out of their machete sheath, and they chop off a coconut from the local coconut tree or the short ones. And if there's no short trees with coconuts, then somebody will climb the tree yeah. good girl then this is the guapa alone she said that nobody ever calls her guapa but look at that beautiful smile my god I think I think Alona was bakakun no I'm not a liar I just that's true in any event Alona is exposing these beautiful cactus plants, mm -hmm. which are like a miniature western cactus. Like a castle. Cacti. Yeah? Like what? Castle. Like a castle. That's exactly what it looks like. You're right. It does look like a castle. Castle cactus, we'll call it, okay? Okay. And they stick the the machete down underneath the dirt and they get it out from the roots they don't just cut it and it'll be gone for maybe several seven or eight months until next season it won't grow again like this right mm, yeah. when you take I the roots I'm out not. what I'm not. oh no the job you're doing they'll probably be afraid to come back once they see you up there with the machete <laughs> yeah And these are the plants that alone exposed of this plant. This is a beautiful flower. It's red and pink, but it's gone. It, it, it bloomed last week during a rainstorm, and I didn't get to see it. And this is Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines saying, <clears throat> there, is there anything better than a lady with a machete in the Philippines on a beautiful day? in mid-summer. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, always remember those three things I talk about with Mr. Obama, because if Mr. Obama was in the Philippines, and sometimes he was in the Philippines last week, if he was in the Philippines and he had a son, his son would look like a Trayvon Martin. My Montag. And his son would be in hell playing cards with a pedophile priest, that's right. And his son would be dead. That's right, baby. Oy vey and shalom from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines. One time. One time. That's it, baby.